Welcome to our tutorial template configuration with CC Vision and XDoc Manager. Today we want to discuss how to generate a template with CC Vision for configuration of gas detectors and transmit it via XDoc to connect with XDoc stations. In preparation, CC Vision was started and connected to the XAM2500 via an infrared interface. The data from the device was transferred to the computer as a GDT file. Let's start the template configurator, which can be found in Tools under XDoc Template Configuration. Create new template. A window with an empty container opens. It is now possible to drag and drop several GDT files into this container. A copy of the GDT is created inside the template container. Close the old GDT files. The template is valid for the same type of instruments which contain the same type of sensors, equipped in the same order. Remember, in order to apply the defined configurations, you need to include them all together in the container. However, for our example, we will start with only one template in our container. Exam 2500. For documentation, it is mandatory to enter an author. Let's use John Doe for this exercise. Let's add a comment. Exam 2500 only. Do you see the yellow areas in the CC vision? These fields must match in order to apply the template to another instrument. If you like, you can also adjust the parameters. Let's change the alarm levels of the H2S sensor to 3 and 6. Okay, our test configuration has been changed and we are done. For the sake of simplicity, let's save this as Test Configuration Template. However, for operational use, it is important to find a good name in order to identify your template. We recommend that you include the date and time along with a version number. The template appears now with an extension XDT which stands for XDoc Template File. We've saved the template and now let's start the XDoc Manager to distribute this file to the connected XDoc stations. It is also possible to use a memory stick if a network is not in use or the specific station requires a different or local template. Now we are using the XDoc Manager. You can see that one station is online and the global template file is already active. However, we want to replace the active template with this one we just created. Remember. In the test configuration template, we added the exam 2500. So this template will only apply to exam 2500 devices with the same configuration. To activate our test template, navigate to Extras and select Change Template and browse to the template file. You see a checksum. This is a unique identifier. Independent of the file name, this number is a good way to backtrack to the origin. It is calculated based on all the information you have entered. Author, comment, but of course, also the files included and the specific settings. The file can be uploaded to the XDoc Manager with one click. You can see here that the old template is still in place for our active stations. It can take a few minutes before all stations have downloaded the new template. However, in order to actively use this template, you need to change the XDoc test configuration on the XDoc itself. In our example, we activated both check and set configurations. With this setting, we will test and correct the gas detector's configuration according to our template. 
Okay, let's pick the device and start a test. We can find it here in the XDoc Manager, and you see it is not ready for use since the last test failed. However, after this coming test, it will be active again. In the meantime, a test was performed on our XDoc station, and it is documented here in the XDoc Manager. Let's open the respective test certificate. Okay, a PDF has been created, and we can see the test results in the certificate. In the upper part of the certificate, the alarm levels are listed, and you can see that they are now 3 ppm and 6 ppm for H2S. We can see that the alarm levels were changed. We see that the test was passed, and the quick bump test was performed. In the lower part of the certificate, we see the results of our template configuration. We also can see the unique checksum. We see that a check was done, but a change of configuration was necessary, and this was done in the past. So, this is the information to prove that the device is ready for use and is configured based on our template. That's it. The new template configuration is easy to use and provides comprehensive documentation for a higher level of safety.